اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نوع الأربعين نوع الأتكاف نوع الخلب العزة رياض السلوك السيام الله تعالى تعظيم في هذا المجد طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية الذي أولياء الله علم بعض الله وقوم عبد الله بالله عصر الله بفضل الله ونستطعنا سيشاء الله في عزر السلام ونستطعنا سيشاء محمد الله عصر الله ونستطعنا سيشاء محمد الله عصر الله ونستطعنا سيشاء محمد الله عصر الله ونستطعنا الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عصر الله بفضل الله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد لسقصيدة سيدني محب إنني أحب محمد فريلي I love محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and Allah is my witness O oh my Lord, send praises on your beloved eternally, continually, newly also. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us real lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Not just lip service. Alhamdulillah. Allah granted me, alhamdulillah, recently to go visit Turkey, visit Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adar Rabbani. After almost a year and a half, because of Corona, we were not able to go. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored me to be in the presence of Shaykh Al-Tariq Al-Nakshbandi Al-Aliyya, Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adir Rabbani. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise him eternally. It was an amazing trip to be in the presence of such a grand wali. It is a... Yani, very humbly to be with him. Mulana Shaykh Muhammad, who is now the one carrying the secret of Mulana Shaykh Nazim, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise him higher and sanctify his secret. Uh, this is, in this time, I spent a little bit of time with Mulana Shaykh Muhammad and I was astonished at his humility and humbleness and in every little action of his he is reflecting the prophetic manners of Sayyidina Muhammad and his, his time is always filled with ibadah or with serving the people or with teaching and he is such a beautiful presence and his sweetness his humbleness he carries himself without any sense of uh, and he doesn't give it's difficult for the people around him because uh, you can easily forget that he is the Shaykh of this Tariqah and he is the inheritor of Mawlana Shaykh Nazim. But that's how he carries himself. Like a normal person. Alhamdulillah, I had the opportunity to spend time with him. He was going, he goes every day to from to Baylar Bay Darga where he meets and sees people, people with problems, people with needs, people with uh, questions. He serves. And SubhanAllah, and it is, Mawlana uh, Shaykh is, is, SubhanAllah, his, his character now is such a, a breath of fresh air in, in today's world. Because uh, his adherence to the way of Prophet Sallallahu to the manners of Prophet, uh, without takalluf, without any, uh, just naturally, the way he is, only speaks, what is useful or what is good and he's always engaged in some sort of useful activity, beneficial activity and just to be with him gives you a, a renewed uh, motivation and hope that this time, inshallah, because of the difficulty of this time, 
that adherence to the Sunnah of Prophet وسلم, is the only thing that will save people today. Is to follow truly and to follow closely the way of Sayyid al Mursaleen, the way of beauty, the way of humility, the way of kindness, the way of mercy, the way of service, khidmah. It's all embodied in Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adr Rabban, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reason higher and higher inshallah and keep us in his service Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatiha lima ugliqa wal khatimi lima sabaqa nasir al-haqqi wal haqqi wal hadi ila siratika al-mustaqim wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa miqadarihi al-azim من تواضع لله رفع حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم whoever humbles himself for Allah, Allah raises him and that is the condition of Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad he is so humble that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises him to be one of the grand masters of the most distinguished tariqa al-Naqshran Diyar Aliyah we are living in a time now where the kingdom of shaitan the kingdom of the Antichrist is spread east and west, north and south. There isn't a place where his tentacles are not now reaching. And this, as we, every day, we are witnessing the trials and tribulations. We are witnessing this new age and era restricting people's movements and diseases and uh, oppression on all levels. So from my trip, one thing I learned is there's no time to waste from just watching Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad, is we have to be engaged in every minute, every second of the day with something good, either for our, ourselves, our families, or something good for the community we are in, useful for ourselves and others. We have to adhere to the Sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No time to play, no time to waste, and no, no things to claim. Our Shaykh, MashaAllah, Shaykh al tariqa he behaves in such a humble way. Something for, for me to remind me every time that never to give credit to ourselves for anything and never to assume that we are better than anyone and never to treat people as if they are below us or, or servants. And this is a great uh, education. Anyone who is able to go and visit Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Church must do it. Uh, visiting such a wedding is ibadah, is worship and does more benefit to a person who comes with an open mind and heart than maybe years of ibadah on their own Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant me one of life and grant us to visit him many times he's going to Uzbekistan, I think many people may be going with him May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill their ziyarah and accept it insha'Allah. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. My brothers and sisters in living in the West, Mawlana wants us to be together. He doesn't want us to be each on their own. He said so much to, to us, and he put it in the video as well, message that he sent to, to people in North America. He wants us to be a family, because nowadays, uh, he said in the talk, Yadullahi ma'al jama'ah, that you have to be with the community, not to be by yourself, not to be alone, is difficult now. It's a time to find people who are seeking Allah's pleasure and to be with them. 
whether physically, whether virtually, but to be together. And there's a lot to do. There's a lot of khidma, as Mulana showed us, that tariqa is the way of service, khidma. Unfortunately, we get complacent. We come to tariqa, we take bayah, and that's it. But really, if we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us, we have to extend our help, our hand, our expertise, our knowledge to help others. Uh, as from the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Allah is helping, the, helping you as, as long as you are helping others. So khidma, we are living in the West, how many hundreds of millions of non-Muslims? Are we trying to find ways and means to to show them the love and mercy of Islam? How many hundreds, uh, uh, how many th tens of thousands or, of Muslims who maybe gave up because the brand of Islam or the the uh, Islam they are, have, been, have been used to is tasteless, no sweetness. Have we tried to invite them to find ways to communicate with them, to find ways to be with them? And the time is running out and we are seeking Allah's pleasure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use us to serve his ibad. May Allah use us to be benefit, beneficial to his servants. May Allah use us to benefit the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu It is his tawfiq and prayer, but we have to intend. So inshallah we are intending to be inshallah useful servants for our Shaykh, to be useful servants for our Prophet Sallallahu to be useful servants to the Murids, to be useful servants to the Ummah in general. We're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the opportunities, to grant us the means and ways to use us to be of service, khidmah. Especially people in tariqah who have tasted the sweetness of iman, the sweetness of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu They must try to help others. We must try to build a community, we must try to find ways to invite others. Well, Sheikh Muhammad, not this time, but last time I visited him in Cyprus, he said, inshallah, many, many people will be coming. Inshallah, I truly believe so. But we have to work together and be together, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the himma, the ability, and the zeal, and the humility to uh, to inshallah be true servants. Amin Allah tawfiq bi hurmati al-habib bi hurmati al-fatiha.